Hi there, this is Michael from OTC, online TOEFLcourse.com. These comments are for RD, and you're doing some pronunciation practice here. It looks like with the P and the B consonant sounds. Will you have enough air when you pronounce these sounds, especially with the P, right? So let's see how you did. The pain can be a shooting pain, a burning pain, or even an extremely piercing pain. Okay. Two, a time capsule is a container that is filled with objects that show important and things about the way people live in a certain time and the place. Okay, good. You're, you're getting the P sound. I'm going to say you're 80% there. Just remember when you're doing the sound, if I take some paper, you know, when you put paper up to your mouth, and you produce that sound, you'll definitely need, uh, the paper should be flapping quite a bit. Now you're reading the sentence a little too slowly. If I read number two, I'd say, a time capsule is a container that is filled with objects that show important things about the way people live in a certain time and place, something like that. Three, insulin has already been made by incorporating genetic material into bacteria, the cultures of which have become synthesizer of insulin yeah synthesizers synthesizers of insulin for laboratory researchers in europe demonstrated that gray parrots could learn the kinds of symbolic and conceptual tasks that are generally considered as pre or co-requisites for complex cognitive and communicative skills. Okay, so with this sentence and with all of them, I think you want to get where you you're have your what we call longer thought groups, right? So let's work on each one together. I want you to repeat this sentence after me. The pain can be a shooting pain, a burning pain, or even an extremely piercing pain. Number two. A time capsule is a container that is filled with objects that show important things about the way people live in a certain time and place. Three, insulin has already been made by incorporating genetic material into bacteria, the cultures of which have become symbolic synthesizers of insulin. Four, laboratory researchers in Europe demonstrated that gray parrots could learn the kinds of symbolic and conceptual tasks that are generally considered as pre or co-requisites for complex cognitive and communicative skills. Right? That's, that's a very long sentence, very difficult to read. So the tip is, generally, it's a good idea to pause right before those dependent clauses. You see that? So you would say laboratory research as Europe demonstrated you don't want to say demonstrated that and then pause. You don't want to break up the subordinating conjunction from the subject and the verb there. So for your pacing, there is a connection between independent and dependent clauses and also different kinds of prepositional phrases and things. We like to break up the sentence into different grammatical units and typically we'll pause after each of those units. That's another way to look at it in terms of what we call thought groups and blending. And the key is, after each thought group, you want to make sure your tone is slightly higher than when you get to the end of the sentence. That's when your tone falls slightly. What does that sound like? If you look at two, a time capsule is a container that is filled with objects that show important things about the way people live in a certain time and place at the end. So did you notice that right before that, when I said, this is my first thought group here, right? So I have the time capsule is a container that is filled with objects, again, the tone slightly higher, that show important things about the way people live in a certain time and place, and then my tone drops after that. So it's the combination, I think, of the, of the higher and the lower tones that creates that natural sounding intonation you're trying to get when you're, when you're doing the TOEFL speaking section of the exam. All right?